natural gas has been touted as an efficient, abundant and low carbon energy resource. But one method of extraction, hydraulic fracturing, also called fracking, involves high-risk activities that can have a devastating impact on health and the local environment. Fracking involves drilling a hole up to four kilometers underground into shale rock. A mix of water, sand and chemicals is then pumped in under high pressure. The shale rock is fractured and natural gas is discharged. Today, the industry wants to establish shale gas production and fracking in Europe. So why should we be concerned? First of all, an enormous amount of fresh water is required. Each fracking operation can use around 19 million litres of water throughout its life. That's enough to supply almost 1,000 Europeans for a year. And then there is the toxic waste fluid. Each frack pumps 80 to 300 tonnes of toxic chemicals into the earth, including volatile organic compounds, plasticizers, and petrochemicals. Add to this the radioactive elements and heavy metals, which are dislodged from deep underground and carried to the surface by the fracking process. The result is toxic radioactive waste fluid, a serious threat to people's health, especially local residents. So what happens to it all? Some of the waste fluid is intentionally evaporated, creating airborne carcinogens. The remainder is then hauled away. Most water treatment facilities are not equipped to deal with toxic mixture, heavy metals, nor radioactivity. And even so, up to 80% of the toxic fluid injected underground is simply left there. Leaks, spills, faulty equipment and human error only add to the significant risk that the fracking process will contaminate our freshwater supplies. Clean water is our most important, most vital resource. More and more communities are expressing concern about fracking and shale gas. Do we really want to risk our health just to prolong an unsustainable dependence on yet another, even dirtier fossil fuel? Shale gas is not a solution for our energy future. Instead, we urgently need to turn to renewable energies and energy efficiency to meet our environmental, health and climate goals. Let's ban fracking and shale gas before it's too late.